Problem 13. Scout the Sloth is trying uh, is typing a, on a seven character keyboard with the characters A through G. Due to his painfully slow typing speed, he only has the patience to type out four letter words. A note for this problem, a word for Scout is any four character string. For instance, BBFF is a word. Okay, cool. So how many four letter words can Scout type that are palindromes? So words that read the same uh, forwards and backwards. And then for B, let N be your answer to part A. Sometimes Scout gets confused and reads the same words backwards. So the letters, or sorry, rather the words, AABC and CBAA, for example, are the same to Scout. How many unique four letter words are there from Scout's perspective? Okay, cool. So first things first, let's look at um, A. So it wants us to compute the number of palindromes there are with four letter words. So if we have our four character spaces here, they have to read the same forwards as backwards. So that means, for instance, with our first character here, whatever we choose for that will also have to be the last character we have in our sequence. So across these two spaces, we really only make one choice. And the same goes for these inner two spaces. Whatever we choose for our second position must also be the same for our third position. So how many choices do we have for the these two spaces? Well, we choose one character and it goes in both of them. So we have seven choices and the same go for these inner two. So we have seven choices for this, seven choices for this, and we really don't make any choices for the last two spaces. So seven squared. And the reasoning behind that is, uh, we choose one character for spaces one and four, and another character for two and three. All right, so that's our part A. Now let's look at part B one more time. So let N be the answer to part A. Sometimes Scout gets confused and reads the words backwards. How many unique four letter words are there from Scout's perspective? Okay, so it references our previous answer up here as N. So we should probably be using that. And that's really urging us as the test taker to then think about, well, words that are palindromes are probably going to be important with part B. So thinking about words that are palindromes and not palindromes is probably going to be a helpful distinction here. So let's just break off into cases and see where we land. So case one, word is palindrome. Word is palindrome. I think that's how it's spelled. Don't really know. Uh, case two, not palindrome. All right, so if we're thinking about words and how Scout's going to be reading them forwards and backwards, let's think about words that are palindromes. So for instance, A, B, B, A. Well, Scout reading this forwards is the same as Scout reading it backwards. So whatever word is a palindrome, we don't really have to care about those too much because, I mean, Scout's gonna read them the same forwards and backwards. Um, but let's say, let's consider non-palindromic words. What about A, B, C, D? Well, Scout's gonna read this forwards and backwards differently. But if we consider a string, for instance, D, C, B, A, well, that to Scout is the same. So whenever we're looking at a non-palindromic word, there's always going to be some other word that's equivalent to it to Scout. Conversely, with palindromic words, I mean, they're the same to scout forwards and backwards. So we don't really have to worry about those too much. So in essence, we'll split our words into palindromes and non-palindromes. Whatever word is a palindrome, I mean, scout will read it the same forwards and backwards. We don't have to worry about that too much. But all the non-palindromic words, there's always going to be an equivalent other word for scout. In other words, we're going to be overcounting by a factor of two for all of the non-palindromic words. So how many words are there total? So total words 
and then we'll split those into our palindromes and non-palindromes. Total words, well, we have seven character choices per space with four spaces. So it's seven choices. Ooh, ooh. My pencil not working. Seven to the four choices and words that are palindromes. Well, we calculated this up above. It's seven squared, which you can just use N. So we can just say this is N. And we're just gonna count that all one time. But the non-palindromic words are counted twice according to Scout. So how many non-palindromic words are there? Well, whatever words aren't palindromes, so this is seven to the fourth minus N, at least this with the non-palindromic words. And again, these are all double counted, and because they're all counted by a common factor, we can just divide by that factor, which is two. And well, all words fall into one or the other category, so we can just sum these up to get our final answer. So this will be n plus seven to the fourth minus n over two. That's our final answer.